a well graduation program has positive impact on food security for children and then health also uh, but uh, it fell to sometime by engaging uh, the mother or the family in economic activity the children's they spend less time with adult supervision. Um, I think that graduation programmes have amazing potential to have a positive impact on children and we have already seen this in particular around nutrition outcomes. I think um, that we do have to be more purposeful though, you know, really making sure that we're designing our programmes with children in mind and measuring the outcomes so that we can really maximise those benefits and make sure we're not causing any harm. Well, we see lots of improvements at household level in terms of the graduation programs, but we haven't really delved into the implications on children. Um, there's a bit of a, a, an expectation that if the household improves, that everybody within the household will improve. But I think we need to do a lot more research around the impact of the program on children. The contribution of this study that, that, that IDS have worked on uh, in Haiti really is going to help to start that discussion in, in more detail. Graduation program in, 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 in works somewhere where services are not available, or in some cult cultural uh, fact that uh, gender norm makes it like women who are in charge of children and doesn't really at at attack that dynamic to put like every members in the family uh, look after the children. Uh, we we still we still need to 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 to, 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 to find a way that um, a graduation program looks specifically safety uh, early learning and also uh, comprehensive care for 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 children. Um, I think unfortunately at the moment there's possibly more gap than evidence existing. So, you know, it's really fantastic to now have a couple of pieces of research that begin to fill that gap. I mean, I think we still need more um, evidence just on what are the impacts on children. And um, as I said, sort of specifically looking across the, the whole range of um, welfare areas. So not just nutrition, but also education, um, care, um, protection. Um, what's been so great about the evidence produced today and that's been disseminated today is that it has looked at the effect of graduation programming on children but there's obviously a lot more that needs to be done um, I think particularly in terms of daycare and creches and other um, opportun other ways in which we can enable women to work and have these opportunities but also ensure that their children are in a safe environment that they trust to deliver their children into um, so I think that's a, a major one. And then secondly, I think we need to be looking at cost effectiveness of these types of interventions and how we can implement them at scale effectively. We see we have a lot of information, uh, or we lack information, should I say, on the inter-household dimensions of, of graduation and what's there. Starting with, well, what's the impact on women and women's workloads, for example, if you target them uh, within the programme? And then the knock-on impact of that is what's the impact of that on ch children and children's development, particularly if you're not going to address some of the more um, some of the more structural issues within the households in terms of uh, evening up the workload between men and women and so on and that. Um, and it's also there's assumptions made that increasing income leads to improvements in things like food consumption and nutrition that I think needs to be tested a little bit more. Well, first of all, we we understood that uh, we need to, to train our staff. That's the first thing we need to do. And we, we need to have a clear plan how we will address some gaps we, 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 we identify uh, to, to have a better impact on children development. Um, well, this is an area that we're really interested to build on. And we've already come up with a sort of short guidance for um, our programmers um, to implement more child sensitive programming 
um, we see ourselves at the beginning of, of a journey on this. So I think this research is going to be really helpful um, to, you know, to have us look again at that and see what changes we want to make and what we can take from the guidance to move forward on that agenda. Well, there's a lot of really interesting stuff coming out of this that emphasises some of the things that we've started to try ourselves, but also that we might try to, to look at a bit more. You know, things like providing assistance to caregivers on issues of nutrition and sanitation, building that into the mentoring programme, and discussions around that but also working more on the stronger family making stronger family levels and links around that and engaging men to improve on their role more in the graduation programs and the household cares and so on